Hello guys, holy shit, Overlord Season 3 Episode 12, right? Yeah, I think this episode came out on Monday? Either on Monday or Tuesday. I forgot <laughs> that Overlord was out. So, good thing uh, YouTube in the recommendation thing, it was like Episode 12 preview. I was like, oh yeah, Overlord exists. I forgot. Um, so what happened in episode 11? Well, I don't really remember what happened in... Oh yeah, episode 11 was the Kingdom's side, right? Yes, I think that was episode 11. So now, well, the battle is starting. And... Yeah, I kind of see... How are they gonna do this battle scene? I'm actually semi hyped for it. Uh, no, episode eleven was Karn Village. Yeah, and that that episode was a bit. Eh. The second half I did not like it. But uh, let's see. Yeah, this is gonna be like hundreds and thousands of troops. So we'll see what happens. Um, kind of want to see. How the Empire fights, you know? And then I want to see how the Empire soldiers react when they see Ainz doing his magic. So those are the things I want to see. So let's just start. Hello Emperor. Uh, oh yeah, what? Well, I guess he wants to see how strong Ainz is. Uh, probably more. Uh, that is, that is good. Assume the worst. That is actually good. Because it puts you on alert. I think it's gonna backfire. Your soldiers are gonna see how strong he is, and they're not gonna want to, to rebel against Ainz. That is what's going to happen, so... So the prince's plan... is gonna fuck him in the ass. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to this episode. I mean, I do feel bad for the fucking peasants of the kingdom's troops. You know, they were drafted, so really didn't have any choice. But I do prefer the Empire, the Empire troops, because they are volunteers, they are well trained, you know, for this world and human standards. I wonder when that is going to come into effect. I just noticed there's like a bunch of mouths and all that. But I don't remember that scene from the... Uh, what's it called? The episode where the workers go into Nazarick. Because that looks like it would be Nazarick. So I'm expecting... They're going to feed... Whatever those mouths are. Maybe that are one of the horrible creatures that they were talking about. We're gonna go back and see well, what are they doing with the bodies. Uh, 
I mean, let's see how terrible the CGI will be. He's got, uh, don't be too, too confident. When he said, maybe we take this time to invade Empire, that guy on the right got so happy. It looks like he nodded. Razor Edge. Well, decent looking armor. But now when you have a kid yourself Yeah, and that's why you are going to die here Alright, get the, some of this emotional stuff out, because, well, at least Mar Marquis Reven is gonna die. Oh god. I feel so bad for the soldiers that are the closest, yeah. <laughs> I'd be pissing my pants. Well, he didn't have to gather, gather them. They came to him. Basically a god. Alright, so there are no players. Good. I mean, we as the viewers obviously know this. I'm guessing that there are no other players in this world.
Oh god, that guy is like... I mean, did you need to use that cash, cash item? I mean... Oh. Alright. Oh god, the, the spit and all that. Yeah, I, I'm with them. I would be like, holy shit. No blood, nothing. They just f fell like flies. <laughs> God. Yeah, eyes are like, there's no need to be wary. We're on the same side for now. So if you're on my side, I'm not gonna hurt you. All right, let's see how her children look like. They're probably gonna be lollies. I'm calling it now. Because, I mean, it is a game. And the dark fertility goddess. Because we all know lollies are the peak fertility. <laughs> Alright, I was wrong. <laughs> Tentacles. I mean, I'm sure it, they do look good, but I think... The fact that it's... Oh uh, yeah, I didn't connect. I was kind of like, why? Why do they sound like that? But like, then he said a goat. Like, oh all right, yeah, they are using a goat cry. Makes sense. Goats are. <laughs> sure. Uh, run. If you want to live, fucking try to run away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, this is gonna be a loss that the kingdom cannot recover from. This is like several generations of men just dead.
Well, the Emperor's plan seems to be working, but I mean, for some people, but I think majority of people would be like, no, fuck that, I'm not fighting that guy. Yeah. Oh, to reveal himself. They're like, oh god. He's undead. There you go, Eins. I am Mare. That guy is smart. He's smart. He's like, uh, whatever he says, do it. Clap. Oh god. <laughs> They're probably thinking like, shit, that thing is coming towards, towards us because we don't clap good enough. Don't run! It's just gonna make things worse. I mean, I can understand why they were running. They were probably fucking panic. And I'm sure all of these things give off like a fear status. You know, a passive. Why would you say that? I mean, I... Why would he even say, oh, haven't you killed enough? Are you a demon? Oh, God. Smart. Well, what are you gonna do? Well, yeah, that's the guy from season one that was with, I, uh, not Eins, uh, what is his name? Gazev in the village when they were talking. Well, the 
they do not plan to kill you, so I mean... You're safe, Climb. Yeah, good luck. He's like, oh, there is no. <laughs> oh, poor Gaza. It's kind of like, get out of here. I don't want to kill you. These are the things from the intro. Oh god, why did it take me so long? I was just talking about it and then they showed... Yeah, I'm retarded. I'm fucking retarded. Oh, nice purple stripes. Climb, but fuck, you're all gonna die. No, what am I saying? Probably Brain is gonna die, and maybe Gaza. Because I'm guessing Gaza is just not going to do whatever Ains wants. And he's gonna try to fight and die. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is buying time for the people to escape, so... Yeah, you just sealed your death. Yeah. Well, Gaza, you're dead. It was a pretty good episode. I think, I mean, the visuals were, I would say, below average. 
But other than that, I think it was good. There are a few things I want to bitch about. But that's mostly just preferences, what I would want, you know. Alright, so here's a few things I want to bitch about. Um, this is probably what happened in the light novel. I haven't read this far ahead. Um, but what I would have wanted is that at least some of the Empire soldiers... Because I would want majority to panic and run away. That makes sense. Uh, but I also would have want few of them to be like, you know what? I'm fucking afraid if I run away, I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna fucking kiss ass to Eins, you know? Be like, Eins, you know, if you want some human, you know, subordinates, blah blah blah. I am willing to be like part of your human army, something like that. That is where I would have gone. I would have been like, fuck the Empire. My allegiance is with the Sorcerer King, you know, the one that I was fucking applauding. Because I would think that is where I would go. I would try to ally myself there. If I was just a normal human soldier, of course. And even if I was something else in this world, I would have done that probably. Uh, with the information that these soldiers have. Because these soldiers don't know. This is probably the only thing they know about Ainz, you know. That he can fucking exterminate. Probably hundreds of thousands of people. So. I would be like. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure that I'm on that side. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's pretty much, and obviously, uh, the budget, I'm get oh, the budget, the budget animation, I think the animation, especially the, C the CG, yeah, it didn't look so good, I mean, yeah, they wanted to show mass death, but there we go. I want to read this part. I'm gonna wait until this season is over, until I start reading a light novel. Then I'm not gonna worry about reading up until the point where season 3 ends. I'm just gonna read until I'm done. Then if season 4 comes out, then I'll know, you know, kind of what's gonna happen. Um, so this will probably be the last Overlord season where I'm going in, you know, kind of blind. Where I don't really know what's gonna happen. So yeah, that was a good episode. I don't have that much to say with that I didn't, that I don't think that I already said. Um, I am surprised that Maki Revan didn't die. I'm happy that he did not die. Um, so he's probably going to be the one to try to talk to other nations and all that. Um, then I do hope that in the Empire that there will be a, a cut you know people in the empire who want to be loyal to Ainz and the ones who are you know loyal to their emperor I would not be loyal to the emperor we are fuck that you know that's what I would have been you know because well Floider Fluder is obviously on Ainz's side so I would have been there you know on that part so I hope we see that like a Civil War in the Empire. Maybe that will be in the book. I mean, obviously, there's only one more episode. So that's not going to happen. But, yeah. So, next episode, we're gonna see Ainz kill... Um, Gazef and maybe Bra Brain. Um, yeah, maybe he's gonna injure... Uh, what's his name? Um, climb because I mean and then give Climb's injured body to the princess because that's what the princess wants she wants him to just be reliant on her so yeah that's it and how will Climb react when he may if he ever fight, figures out that the princess was working with Nazarick <laughs>